Here's how you can get started with Clerk and Next from a blank create next app in 100 seconds. Input the work of a moment, you'll first protect your app behind a sign-in page before showing your signed in users a dropdown where they can manage their session and their accounts. Okay, start the clock. <laughs> first, install the Clerk Next SDK. While that's installing, head to the dashboard to create and configure an app with sign-in options your users find convenient. I'm calling my app CloverCorp and enabling GitHub authentication. Copy the environment variables, then back in your editor, paste them into an env.local.file. It looks like Clerk installed, which means we can now open layouts and surround the roots of our app in a Clerk provider. We'll also need to integrate Clerk with Next. We do this by creating a middleware TS file and pasting the following code from the Clerk dashboard. Now, if we reload the page, Clerk and the ready-made Clerk React components are ready to use. Let's go back to layouts and we'll first use the signed in helper component, which only renders children if there's a user with an active session signed in. As you can see, this is the effect of protecting the contents of the page from signed out users. Of course, we now need a way to let unauthenticated users sign in. To that end, we can use signed in's counterpart, signed out, to conditionally render the clerk sign in component. When we look at the browser, you might even recognize this as the sign-in components we configured in the dashboard earlier, which is why the name is CloverCorp, and I can now sign in with GitHub to view the contents of the page. Another Clerk component you should know about is User Button. This component typically lives in the header, and it gives your authenticated users a pleasant UI to manage their accounts. This includes their profile, as well as security options like managing active devices. When your user is ready to sign out, the user button accommodates that flow as well. That was Clerk and Next in 100 seconds. I suggest you follow these steps and experience Clerk for yourself. Once you have a test user or two, take some time to explore the dashboard. Here, you can manage your users and even impersonate them for debugging or support purposes. You can also add more sign-in options with a click, enable MFA, customize session tokens, or even tweak the branding. You might also be interested in organizations which allow your users to enroll in multiple workspaces or teams, typically for when you're building a B2B SaaS. There is a ton of value to explore in the dashboard and indeed the docs. In the docs, you can find quick start guides and explore from there.